Let's look into Patch My PC's SaaS solution, Patch My PC Cloud. Go to portal.patchmypc.com and sign in for a trial version. So you can have a 30 days trial version with full features. The sign up process for trial version is pretty straightforward. During the sign up process itself, Patch My PC is giving a great user experience I would say. On the left side you would be able to see quick and easy deployment options and explaining how to deploy it, seamless integration with Microsoft Intune and how to integrate it with handle conflicts during third party app updates and then easily customize the applications etc. So all those details are available on the left side on the right side of the screen you can see user information company information for the initial setup then it will directly ask you to connect to microsoft intune or the publisher which you you have been already using as part of sscm or wsus integration so on this demo i'm going to show intune part of it because we have a lot of other videos about SSCM WSUS. So there's a feature parity note over there that is very important. This cloud product from Patch My PC is pretty new. So there won't be a feature parity between both their products, but they have a great list where you can see all the details, which are the features shipped, which are submitted, which are pending, etc. etc. So a lot of features are shipped as you can see automatic publishing. Some of the features are planned. I love available uninstall that is planned. App discovery that is planned. You just need to click on submit button and then login again. Now this is about the permissions. What are the permissions required for patch my PC to work with Intune? So, so from a high level perspective and most of the Permissions are read only permissions, read all group memberships, etc, etc. Go through it and accept it. Click on accept. And I'm going to select start enterprise plus trial and it says 30 days trial thoroughly explore the product features etc etc there are two product variants plus and premium you can see the differences over here and both of them are fully available for trial of 30 days so i'm going to go with premium version for this trial so you just need to select the plan click on the select plan button and then you need to enter the maximum number of managed devices so click on start now and that will start your 30 days trial and it expires on 31st 2024 for me and you can extend the trial period if you want if you can get in touch with patch my pc they will be happy to extend it as per my experience so this is the app catalog list as you can see over here many applications over there we'll come back to that in a bit so over here you would be able to see a note on the banner and in the note it says there is only one administrator you need to add additional administrator so that is very important and there are different options RBAC options available custom app admin intune app admin full admin and full admin with access management so if you hover the mouse over information button near custom app admin you would be able to see what does that mean custom app admin can do what kind of activities and what are the permissions allowed for custom app admin so over here i'm going with full admin for an additional user and then invitation is sent now we are waiting for acceptance of that invitation okay and you can copy the invitation link and send it to that admin separately as well now if you look at different settings you would be able to see you can provide the company name and then country you can provide the company name and billing address company id is automatically created you have an option to have a preview features available for this particular trial i wanted to enable that and then there's an additional option to give customer support on your tenant if they want to troubleshoot something that is a great option i would say 
but it depends on organization i would say there are two options over there full admin and then read only you can carefully save this once you selected all these options and there's option to delete the company also if you want to delete the company it's also interesting and location of data storage is also explained over here it is us for this particular trial version and i have saved the company information default environment and then you can edit the environment if you want and you can say probably it's tmd lab setup or something so i'm putting hdmd lab for this particular tenant and there are options to reconnect delete intune connection etc over here under environment if you click on the three dots on the right side we'll get additional options click on reconnect that is why it is going through this process and i have not connected publisher to this particular patch my pc cloud saas solution so this is a saas solution provided by patch my pc and branding is another important thing which we need to configure as part of the initial setup so this is where users will get the notification and branding is important for that particular scenario so as you can see over here branding deployment status is in progress I have uploaded some of the stuff and updated some of the things and then we are in notification now and there are different options for the notification you can have webhook notification where you can add webhook for team slack etc etc and then naming conventions that is very important for many of the organization so you can have a variable for display name prefix you can add and suffix you can add if you want vendor language install type etc etc so these are very useful settings which you need to carefully configure in a production scenario okay let's try to deploy one of the app and uh, quickly check what is the experience of that architecture is mentioned over there and it is one password and then if you click on deploy you need to fill the general information it is already filled you don't need to do anything if it is a default deployment architecture is selected install context is selected type is selected and then you can add pre install scripts post install scripts if you want you have an option to import powershell scripts and then uninstall scripts are also available pre uninstall post uninstall scripts you can and default installation parameter comes with a reboot really suppress and available uninstall allow available uninstall option i have enabled and then if you go to assignment you would be able to see different options add available add required and then add update only so all these options are available and then from here you would be able to see the azure ad or entra groups and you can search entra groups from now here you need to and then you are licensing some of the user groups or device to groups all the features and functionalities and then once you select that then click on save button at the bottom also you would be able to see add update only app for selected group etc etc i have added an available deployment and then you would be able to see the filters which are available in the intune tenant over here as well then you can select include or exclude some of the filters and notification settings are also available here at the moment it is configured to show all notifications and this is the summary page so this is giving you the similar experience as intune native portal so you don't need to learn anything new for managing patch my pc cloud i would say that is a great advantage for organizations where they have to train their employees for the cloud product etc if you are familiar with intune deployment scenarios then this is a cake work for you and its status shows in progress you can get the event details what are the things we have done intune connect connector added and deployment of one password got created all those details it's kind of audit events that is also a good place where you can track 
what has happened with your patch my pc cloud saas solution and over here with there are export options filter options with lot of categories and operation type etc so those are very useful and you can see you have an option to send it to support at patchmypc.com etc so that is really good okay now you can see this deployment is successful the status changed from in progress to successful it is assigned to hdmd cloud pc and if you want to edit the deployment scenarios you can do that as well from patch my pc cloud now let's go back to intune and see so this is the one password app that we have deployed from patch my pc if you go to properties you would be able to see patch my pc script runner exe install package exe uninstall package exe etc as i mentioned it is going to give you the similar experience as intune portal there's no learning curve for patch my pc cloud saas solution so let's look at overall experience of patch my pc cloud solution over here if i compare features available with publisher and patch my pc cloud you can see there are shipped updates over there already well documented in docs.patchmypc.com and you would be able to see assignment filter options are available and copy forward scope options are available all these features are already shipped and there are lot of features which are submitted those are basically per app configuration features such as esp4 autopilot in intune allow configuration of availability and deadline for assignment for example and then custom description custom app icon for all those features are already submitted it is coming to the product pretty soon and there are some global configurations which are already planned allow available uninstall that is planned app discovery is planned so you can go to ideas. patchmypc.com and you can filter based on patch my pc cloud product and sort by popular and you would be able to see the transparency within patch my pc and you can see the update rings is the most voted feature and you would be able to see the customer comments and patch my pc command that it will be available in august 2024 as a preview so i like this transparency of ideas and road maps etc so overall experience of patch my pc cloud and this is the first time i am configuring it using it So this is my first hand experience of this product patch my pc portal is similar to intune portal so there's no learning curve for your it people so that is really an advantage and i would like to see more features in the portal itself something like adding cve details into the apps and then you can take a decision whether it is a high risk application you need to patch it immediately or not etc if you have any further ideas on this patch my pc product you can always go to ideas.patchmypc.com and start putting all those ideas but as i mentioned overall experience is pretty smooth it gives me the similar feeling as working through intune portal and i would also like to see different versions of applications and options to deploy different versions of applications and different language options also i would like to see for different countries or regions i can deploy different language and then there are some settings which i like much and i would say it is going to be useful such as sync schedule naming convention notification events etc etc